Phrases like, the golden rule of habit change, you can't extinguish a bad habit, you can only change it, or, habits whether good or bad are the invisible architecture of our lives, are a real challenge on our daily life. Do you know that nearly half of our daily actions are driven by habits, not conscious decisions? We wake up, brush our teeth, commute to work, often on autopilot. This automatic behavior, while efficient, can also trap us in unproductive cycles. Dive into The Power of Habit by Charles Duhigg, a groundbreaking exploration of how habits work and how we can change them. This masterpiece of nonfiction, self-help, psychology, and personal development published in 2012 quickly became a bestseller, captivating readers with its engaging storytelling and practical insights. Hello, and welcome back to the Book Fox Summaries, bringing literature to life one summary at the time. So, grab a kappa, get comfy, and join us on this incredible journey through the world of literature. Today we submerge ourselves into Charles Duhigg, an investigative reporter who dives deep into the science behind habit formation, drawing on research in neuroscience, psychology, and sociology. He reveals the fascinating inner workings of our brains and how habits, once formed, become deeply ingrained in our neural pathways. But there's hope. Duhigg doesn't just leave us with an understanding of why we do what we do. He empowers us to take control, providing a roadmap for identifying, understanding, and ultimately changing our habits. Whether you're looking to break a bad habit or build a positive one, The Power of Habit offers invaluable tools for lasting personal transformation. At the heart of Duhigg's book lies the concept of the habit loop, a three-part neurological cycle that governs every habit we have. This cycle is fundamental to understanding how habits form and how they can be changed. This loop consists of a cue, a routine, and a reward. Each part plays a crucial role in the formation and reinforcement of habits. The cue triggers the brain to initiate a behavior. It can be anything that our brain associates with a specific routine such as a time of day, an emotional state, or a particular location. The routine is the actual behavior itself whether physical, mental, or emotional. This is the action we take in response to the cue, and it can range from simple habits like brushing our teeth to more complex behaviors like exercising or checking our phones. Finally, the reward is the positive reinforcement that tells the brain to remember this loop for the future. Rewards can be tangible, like a treat, or intangible, like a sense of accomplishment or relief. Duhigg illustrates this concept with the example of Eugene Pauly, a man who suffered severe brain damage that left him unable to form new memories. Despite this, Pauly could still learn new habits, demonstrating that habits operate on a different neurological pathway than conscious memory. This means that even when our ability to remember is compromised, our brain can still form and maintain habits. This fascinating case shows that habits are deeply ingrained in our brain structure, operating independently of our conscious thought processes. This revelation highlights the incredible power of the habit loop. It can drive our actions even when our conscious minds are unaware. Our daily routines and behaviors are often governed by these loops, making them powerful tools for both positive and negative habits. Understanding the habit loop is the first step to changing our habits. By breaking down our behaviors into these three components, we can start to see the patterns that control our actions. By identifying the cues, routines, and rewards that drive our behaviors, we can begin to interrupt the cycle and create new, more desirable patterns. This process requires awareness and deliberate effort, but it is entirely possible with the right strategies. This knowledge empowers us to move beyond simply wishing for change and toward taking concrete action to reshape our lives. By mastering the habit loop, we can take control of our behaviors and create lasting positive changes that enhance our well-being and productivity. But what exactly drives the habit loop? What is it that keeps us coming back to the same behaviors, even when we know they might not be the best for us? Duhigg points to the powerful role of cravings. These cravings are the invisible force that propels us into action. Once a habit is formed, our brains begin to anticipate the reward associated with the behavior. This anticipation is not just a fleeting thought, it's a powerful neurological response. This anticipation creates a craving that fuels the entire cycle. It's like a spark that ignites a fire compelling us to act. Think about your morning coffee routine. It's a perfect example of how the habit loop works in our daily lives. The smell of coffee brewing might be the cue, the act of making and drinking the coffee is the routine, and the reward is the feeling of alertness and focus that follows. This sequence becomes ingrained in our minds, but the reward is the feeling of alertness and focus that follows. This reward is so satisfying that it reinforces the habit, making it stronger each time. This craving for the reward becomes so strong that it can override logic and willpower. Even when we know better the craving can be irresistible. We find ourselves reaching for that extra cookie, even when we know it's not good for us because the craving has taken over. It's a battle between our desires and our better judgment, because our brains are wired to seek out that familiar pleasure. 
the neural pathways associated with these rewards become deeply entrenched. Understanding the role of cravings is crucial for breaking bad habits. It's the first step in reclaiming control over our actions. By identifying the specific cravings that drive our unwanted behaviors, we can begin to find healthier substitutes that satisfy the same need. This requires self-awareness and a willingness to change. This could involve replacing a sugary snack with a piece of fruit. The fruit provides a healthier alternative that still satisfies the craving for something sweet. Or, swapping mindless scrolling on social media with a few minutes of meditation. Meditation can offer a sense of calm and fulfillment that replaces the need for constant digital stimulation. The key is to find alternative rewards that provide a similar sense of satisfaction without the negative consequences. By doing so, we can create new, positive habits that enhance our well-being and overall quality of life. Small wins, big changes, the key to transformation. One of the most empowering messages of the power of habit is that even small changes can lead to remarkable results. These small changes, often overlooked, can set off a chain reaction, leading to significant improvements in various aspects of life. Duhigg emphasizes the importance of focusing on keystone habits, those pivotal behaviors that have a ripple effect, influencing other areas of our lives. These keystone habits act as the foundation upon which other positive habits are built, creating a cascading effect of beneficial changes. He cites the example of Alcoa, an aluminum company that underwent a dramatic transformation under the leadership of CEO Paul O'Neill. This transformation wasn't just about improving the company's bottom line, it was about changing the very culture of the organization. O'Neill's strategy wasn't to tackle every issue at once, but to focus on one keystone habit, worker safety. By zeroing in on this single aspect, he was able to create a ripple effect that improved other areas of the company. By prioritizing safety, O'Neill created a culture of discipline and excellence that permeated every level of the organization, leading to increased productivity, improved morale, and ultimately, greater profits. This culture shift demonstrated how focusing on one key area can lead to widespread positive outcomes. This story illustrates the profound impact that focusing on small meaningful changes can have on both individuals and organizations. It shows that transformation doesn't always require grand gestures. Sometimes it's the small, consistent actions that make the biggest difference. The takeaway is clear. You don't have to overhaul your entire life overnight. Major changes can be daunting and often unsustainable. Instead, start small and build from there. Start by identifying one or two keystone habits you want to change. These habits should be simple yet impactful, setting the stage for more significant changes down the line. These could be as simple as drinking more water each day, going for a daily walk, or practicing gratitude. Small manageable habits like these can be the stepping stones to larger goals. As you master these small habits, you'll gain confidence and momentum, paving the way for larger, more transformative changes. Each small win builds your confidence, making it easier to tackle bigger challenges. Remember, transformation is a journey, not a destination. By focusing on small, consistent changes, you can achieve remarkable results over time. The key is to stay committed and patient, knowing that each small step brings you closer to your ultimate goals. Just like a garden that flourishes with regular care and attention, your life can transform through the power of small, consistent habits. Embrace the journey and celebrate each small victory along the way. The Power of Belief – Rewriting Your Story While understanding the mechanics of the habit loop is essential, Duhigg stresses that true change requires more than just willpower. Belief plays a crucial role in breaking bad habits and establishing new ones. He highlights the example of Alcoholics Anonymous, a program that has helped millions of people overcome addiction. One of the key factors in AA's success is its ability to foster a sense of community and belief among its members. When individuals struggling with addiction come together, they find support, encouragement, and a shared belief that recovery is possible. This belief, often sparked by witnessing the success of others, becomes a powerful force for change, enabling individuals to overcome seemingly insurmountable obstacles. The same principle applies to any habit we're trying to change. Surrounding ourselves with a supportive network of friends, family, or mentors can provide the encouragement and accountability we need to stay on track. Equally important is cultivating self-belief, the conviction that we have the power to change our habits and achieve our goals. This belief becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy, propelling us forward even when faced with challenges. Before we go, we ask for your help. Please subscribe to our channel. With your subscription, you are encouraged us to create more summaries. Any comments and recommendations are welcome. Hit the like button, share with friends, and turn on notifications to stay in the loop. See you next time.